For the garden center, press 2. To repeat this menu, transferring to the garden center, please hold. Okay. I'm just going to ask them when they uh, restock their plants. calling to make sure um i want to know when is the day that you guys restock your uh nursery the plant section what uh, which day do you guys get the shipment on plants oh so it's not a specific Oh, okay. It's done by a third party company. Sometimes on Monday, sometimes on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye. Okay, tell me why she didn't understand what I was telling her about the nurseries and when do, when do they restock, when do they get shipping some plants. <laughs> Alright, so I called my uh, local Lowe's and they said that they... They don't really know when they get shipments. Um, all I know is that they get shipments on Wednesdays, Mondays, and Fridays, but I don't believe her. But anyways, so um, I'm cooking right now. I'm gonna cook some food, and then I'm gonna head over to Lowe's, and I'm gonna take my dad with me. So I'm doing a collaboration with uh, two other YouTubers. I'm doing a collab with the Planted Cauliflower. She usually started her YouTube channel, and also the Plants by Nisha. So I'll leave their uh, video down below. You guys can take a look. Uh, they also did the challenge which is go to Lowe's with um, a budget of $25 and see what you can afford or who gets the best deal. So I'm gonna go in with the intentions of being the winner. Um, but with $25, we're gonna see who gets the best deal, who gets the best plant find. Um, if I don't find a plant that I really like or that I need, I'm not gonna buy it. And then I'm, I'm not just gonna buy a plant because of the challenge. I really need to love the plant. I might just get some um, fertilizer, some, I don't know, some coconut husks, some little nursery pots, but, um, so yes, I'm gonna go head over to Lowe's, see what I find after I finish cooking some breakfast, and then we're gonna head out and see what we find, so let's see. $25 challenge see who can find the best deal doing the plants by Nisha and with uh, the planted cauliflower so we're gonna see who finds the best deal and we're not here with my dad a ver que plantas hay para comprar Piensa comprar muchas plantas. To do a voiceover since the, my Lowe's was playing very loud music. And so initially what I did is I went to the clearance aisle and I started looking for the cheaper plants. But unfortunately they were all very wilted and sad so i was just walking down the aisles um usually i tend to always look at the echeverias for the succulents this one looked very nice and beautiful it had a very nice burgundy color but it wasn't what i was looking for there's some um, little pink needles or firecrackers um coming on the other side of the succulents i found some aeoriums which are those little purple ones um, really nothing was grabbing my attention. My dad was, um, looking on the clearance aisle, as you can see right here, but everything was really sad. I found a very sad fern, and it was just not a happy look. Honestly, this Lowe's needs to step up their game because it looked very horrible. Um, I spotted more clearance aisle on here, 50% off, and I saw some cactus. This one looked very nice for 50% off, reduced price. These were, I believe, $9.99. Um, well, this Echeveria was $9.99. A crested Echeveria. It's a very nice find. However, it was very depleted. And these succulents were $15. I think they were kind of expensive. There was a little clearance racket on the side. And 
as you can see everything looked very very bad um this one's my mom really likes these plants um in spanish we call them perritos but yeah it just looked awful and honestly nothing was grabbing my attention i was kind of losing it and to top it off it was hella busy music playing cars everywhere the line was huge i was like i'm not about to do a line just for a little plant here so i kept on moving and usually in here they have more sense of areas but not not this time i saw this miracle grow fertilizer but i don't need it kept it moving 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 i saw some perennials which are never in my interest so i skipped through them and at this point i just wanted to go inside and see what they have for indoor gardening however i was still looking for a string of turtles which i've seen popping out in many lows and so i just kept on walking unfortunately i saw a little jasmine plant but i didn't really care for it some little roses in here and i was just mo mostly just looking for a very nice string of turtles i saw some plant food which i was about to take one of these but i at the end i didn't but this looks very interesting i've never used it um if you have let me know in the comments below but this looks very interesting anyways i kept on looking and i saw something that was very intriguing i saw a fiddle leaf fig which looked horrible and i couldn't find a prize on it so yeah i just moved along and unfortunately at this point to be honest i was very sad that i was not finding anything this looked like a very bad Lowe's. Usually this Lowe's has very nice succulents. And I noticed they also changed their setup. I did find some ferns. But um, I always kill them. So next. I thought I was waiting for me to go inside already. And um, I just follow along. See what was inside. Usually what I find inside is Hoyas. And some weird random plants. Which I actually do like. So stepping in. I saw some orchids but my main intention was to look for hoyas in here you can see i found a few of them um looking happy however they were not hoyas they were just ibis and pothos i saw some sensevaria some little ferns again what's up with the ferns all the time um this one i think it's a craptiolasis i'll put the name on the screen but um, I had one of these and I killed it. I don't know how to care for them. It, they just look very weird. And I don't know. It felt like I shouldn't buy it. And I didn't. Um, I was looking for monkey traps. Like, you know, but I couldn't find them either. Honestly, this plant's purchases were just not really going happy. I found another fern. A very nice and bushy. But I killed them. I saw another Sensevaria Moonshine and I didn't pick it up because I already have a bunch of them. I was looking now for the string of turtles. Maybe they had it inside and I couldn't find it. Over here on the top, I saw some palm trees and they didn't grab my attention. I was looking for more weird Sensevarias. I couldn't find any. Some more palmer trees, some plants that honestly i don't they don't grab my attention that was a i don't even know what plant that was i saw some more sensiferous over here on the side and honestly at this point i just wanted to go because i couldn't find anything they always have lilies more of those plants that i killed some crested cacti and some epipennials violets I was about to take one of these pleospilos, which are like the um, bud plants. I've never seen one with with flowers or a plant growing in them, but they have the glued on um, rocks, which I don't know why they do that to plants. I saw some little... I don't forgot the name of those plants, guys, honestly. I just... I was tired. I was very disappointed with my lows. I was trying to look, really look for uh, a rare plant, but I couldn't find any. Over here on the side, I was looking for um, maybe a find a well-fin sense of area, but I couldn't. I decided to just go back and take a little quick look again if I find anything. And nope, 
I was doing double checkings to see maybe there was like a little, even the minus little plant. I found this Sabrina Calathea, whatever you call this, rattlesnake, and I placed it back because I was killing them. Some more ferns again. Maybe there was a little Hoya stuck in the back, but it was a Sensevaria. A bunch of eleven food um, ferns. At this point, I was like, let me just go out and grab some fertilizers because I did not make the trip just for fun. Which I kind of did, but I wanted to grab something just, you know, to buy something. And I was not going to buy a plant because honestly, at this point, this Lowe's was very, very bad. And I was really devastated. I wanted to try something that I had never tried before. Um, some kind of pesticide, but no, I went with my Miracle Grow Orchid Mist, which always works wonders for my Hoyas to make them bloom. Spring is coming up, so I want my Hoyas to grow some flowers. And I also got another um, liquid fertilizer for indoor plants, which are for my pothos and my little um, sensivarias. And that's what I did. Just look around the sides, talk to earths, and I got some Miracle Grow um root boosters i've never used it before but i guess that's the most fancy thing i bought was a root hormone rooting hormone to increase the growth but that's it all right guys so i just got back from um my shopping trip to Lowe's, and it was a complete fail i really just everything i found there was uh i didn't care for it i didn't like it and um it was just not a good experience overall I like filming the video and going to Lowe's, but um, at the end, oh, I just, it was horrible. But let me just show you guys what I purchased and what the price was at the end. So I ended up buying this, which is right here. I got the orchid uh, plant food in a mist form, which is my favorite, especially right now that spring is about to arrive to us here in California and pretty much the states in general. Um, the orchid plant food in mist, I think works wonders to increase um, tendril growth and um, once your tendrils start growing and you spray this on your tendrils and your Hoyas, um, you encourage them to grow peduncles and I've always had a really good success with that so I purchased one because I was kind of running out. And I also got some of these which is a liquid fertilizer, I don't know if you guys could see. This one is also from miracle Grow um, Indoor Plant Food. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like using indoor um, the miracle Grow because apparently it's very uh, cheap and basic and they just want to, um, you know, support other brands but for me that works and that's what i use and then something that I, else that i got was the uh garden safe take root or something like that so a little close-up of that so this one here it's a grow new plants from cuttings and um for the end of the video i want to do something special so i wanted to get this plant which is my syndapsis let me see if i could do a closer look at this plant so this is my syndapsis um I forgot the name of this one. It's the, uh, it's a Pothos Syndapsis Green Jade Satin. Um, I have multiple videos on this plant. And um, so I got a cutting of it. And it has no roots, as you guys can see, it has no roots at all, 0% roots. So um, I'm against using uh, rooting hormones, but um, I guess this is the most interesting find that I found at Lowe's. So this is pretty much, uh, I guess, a powder. Let me open it so you guys can see. I don't know if you guys have never seen this before. Um, it could be a little great experience for both of us. If I could just open it, I should have. I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's some scissors in here. So let me actually get this out if I can without cutting my hands. Wow. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I actually got some out already. Um, Let me just take this lid off which is like giving me so much um trouble okay there's a little bit more okay so i guess everything that i'm just gonna do so i'm just going to um dip my my little roots in here like that pretty much have them like that and then this will just go in my pot right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Pulling. There you go. Let me put it a little bit deeper. All right. So here is my little syndapsis already nice and potted with the rooting hormone. 
I'm gonna put this under my grow light and I'm gonna bottom water. I like to bottom water my plants pretty much most of the time. And I've always done this for a while. Anyways, um, look, I'm in a mess. I also got this tea from Tivana. This will kind of be a little rant here. Um, a Tivana tea, this is a, the Earl Grey from Tivana, guys. Um, if you guys go to your Walmart or Target, wherever you go, uh, don't pick this up, guys. This is horrible in taste. I... If you like your tea strong, Tivana, really, I don't know what happened with them, but their teas is um, horrible quality. Unfortunately, I really cannot get away with them anymore. And I just don't like them. They're horrible. So if you see the, the brand Tivana, I know it's, um, I guess, Starbucks bought them. And before they were bought by Starbucks, um, they were their own brand. And then after Starbucks bought them, they just, their quality of their teas were... It just went downhill and honestly it's been a mess i've tried four of their teas and they're all been awful for me and i don't like them at all anyways so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and also remember that this was a collaboration with the plants by nisha and uh the planter cauliflower the planter cauliflower just started her um youtube journey and so i want you guys to go ahead and support her as well she really deserves it she's very kind she's very sweet she's adorable and um just you know She's a very nice, very sweet, very caring. She's also addicted to Hoyas. So if you like Hoyas and you like my channel, you'll probably like her as well. And uh, Plants by Misha, guys. Plants by Misha was my one of my first um, YouTube buddies here. And um, ever since we met here on YouTube, it's been a very nice friendship. And we just talk really often about plants and about, you know, plant inspiration that we are getting because we are planning on doing a bit more collaborations the three of us so if you guys like us if you guys like my channel just go ahead and follow all of us and just get a little updates on what we're doing around the plant community so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know that i didn't find any plants and unfortunately i had to i guess i'm gonna be the looser of this uh, of this round um we might do another round on going plant shopping to random nurseries maybe um compare the prices of california to new mexico and to florida because we all live in different states around the states so i live in california planted color flower carly lives in um, new mexico and then plants by michelle lives in florida so we're all kind of live in different locations in the united states and it'll be kind of cool to see um you know compare the prices from one state to the next and um you know that'll be a pretty nice um video idea uh let us know in the comments below let me know in the comments below in my video and on that video as well if you guys want to see other plant collaborations or what kind of ideas you guys want to see and I also kind of want to make a video on my plants out there, like in my garden. Not really plants, but my uh, fruiting trees. I have my, um, so the problem was that we have a passion fruit. And if you guys have passion fruits, they're invasive. They're, they grow so fast. Hold on. I'm getting a phone call. So uh, I kind of want to do a video talking about what I have out there. So let me know. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Kapun karigato kusamasta. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe to Plants by Misha and the car the Planter Cauliflower. I'll leave their, their um, links on the video on the description box. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye. Uh,